Um, yeah, but... Sorry, I just paused that um, because uh, there was a, uh, a bus coming. Of course, I was looking in the wrong direction. It was the right bus, but the wrong direction. Um, stupid. Forget where, which way the traffic is going here in Korea. Uh, yeah, but um, I'll try and make this swifty, swiftish, and swifty, and be swift, be swiftly about it or swift about it. Anyway, let's stop talking swift type words. Um, yeah, basically, I, um, I've been opening with music, but this time I thought I'd open with a bit of uh, the local traffic, which is in the middle of nowhere here, kind of middle of... Uh, basically, I'm outside the National 518 National, National Cere- uh, Cemetery for the Uprising, um, which is about, a mile, about an hour and a quarter outside of town. Um, I had to get a bus here, and I'm getting a bus back soon. Uh, just a couple of things, just to... Uh, sort of clear, clear off first of all the first yesterday I mentioned a sort of a lake pond or sort of marshland in in uh, um, the area where I'm staying in which is the area of Uncheon in, in, in the metro station area uh, but it's actually it was actually called the Uncheon Reservoir and I found out later that it's actually a man-made thing or well, I guess I guess the whole thing is or at least the bridge thing I was walking on but either way I found that out about it um, one thing I also want to say couple of these recent podcasts and any you might hear in, in the near future if I'm uh, sound a bit warbly and shaky it could be because I'm walking or I've just stopped walking or I'm pretty much just tired and, and worn out and uh, a bit croaky or what, what have you so I wanted to just clarify that and um, today has been a day of basically all about uprising I mean this is the Gwangju uprising uprising which um you know, I, I've learned more than I already knew about it uh, today. I've been to two places. It's been an eventful day, to be honest. A very heartfelt day, thanks to a, uh, a few people I met. Um, first of all, the, the Memorial Park, which is actually quite close to where I'm staying. I walked there, saw the big monument. Um, and then I went into the building, which was kind of... I, I think they have conferences there... Um, it, it seemed a, a, ghost, a bit of a ghost town, ghost building. Then I realised there was actually some people in there. Spoke to a lovely lady um, about my project, but she saw my Jeju T-shirt. She could see that I was a bit, uh, let's say, a bit of a activist sometimes. Um, the, the Jeju has a T-shirt that uh, speaks about the Gangjong area, naval base, uh, as opposed to the four-three piece. Uh, peace centre, the uprising there. <clears throat> anyway, we had a lovely chat. We then went for um, uh, Korean bibimbap, a special kind of bibimbap, an oyster. Um, it was very good, sides were very good. Uh, she paid for that, and I was appreciative. And Koreans are very kind souls, and that's often the way it goes. Um, kind of regretting starting this outside on a what I thought wasn't a busy road, but suddenly there's a load of load of traffic. Coming. Anyway, so yeah, I started at the, um, the, 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 the Memorial Park, then we went for uh, food, then, then I basically she, there was a... She, she gave me some books uh, about it, um, the Gwangju Uprising, and a lot, I've got my, my bag, my gabang, if you're speaking in the Korean language, uh, is actually a lot heavier now than it was. Um... So, and that's another reason if you hear my voice a bit shaky, because not only am I walking or sitting down, I might have the, a, a bag on my back and it might just, you know, cause me to be a bit unstable voice-wise. Um, so, yeah, that, that, was, that was brilliant. I was conscious of the time when I actually met up with her and um, then one of her colleagues as well, he talked about having been to Gangjong last October, um, showed me some footage he had and... Uh, where the navy came out and kind of pushed them away, um, but yeah, it was a, it was a great a great time. <laughs> Despite the circumstances being about war and um, you know uh, clashes, if you like, and deaths, uh, it was a good day. I saw the exhibition. Then, as I say, I got the bus here, which is the actual cemetery uh, with a museum as well. Um, I have to thank a friend mentioning this to me back in England and also um, 
I mean, it is in the book I've got, but it was, it's very confusing because there's lots of memorial parks around here, cemeteries, due to what's happened. Um, but yeah, so that's what today's been about. I'm looking forward to now. I'm either going to go to... It's quite late in the day. I'm going to probably get the bus, same bus back, but get it back to the um, sort of Asian culture place where there's a, a sit-in protest, protest uh, which has been going on for 50 days. Um, due to the... Uh, it's, it's complicated, but it's to do with... Um, I guess it's really to do with, I mean, Guangzhou are funding all these things about the 518, that's the 18th of May 1980, Guangzhou uprising. Um, The government are funding it, uh, they're they're reluctant to fund it too much, or promote it too much, because they don't want this negativity about the government. So that's, that's what it is, as far as I'm aware. But I'll see what time it is when I get there. See if I've got the energy, see if there's light, and if not, I'll head back to my area. Um, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to have a bit of an update, give you a bit of an update, sorry, on the what today's been like. This is the third podcast. Podcast. Uh, sorry, traffic. Relating to uh, Guangzhou. Um, and I've, I've learned a lot and met some great people. Last night I met some fantastic people in a, in a bar, which was kind of a you know, sort of a Korean beer and soju, but also chicken place. Actually, you know, it's beer and chimak, basically. Um, but we had a bit of a, a crazy crazy evening, even though just sitting down chatting and having a few bit beers. You know, some lovely people. And hopefully I'll see them again later. It was a bit of a... Um, just one of those comfort of strangers moments. Um, but it's always good when you're in a t- different city. Um, I think my bus is due to come any second now, so I'm going um, so to... I was going to say over and out, but that sounds very army type, and I don't think it sounds very apt for where I've just been, uh, the tragic events of the Guangzhou uprising. OK, I will say adios and chat to you all, or one, or whomever's listening soon. OK, goodbye.